So welcome to West of Loathing. We played this game a little bit. Um, we got through like the first town and then I just never got back to it. I kind of messed up like I should have done it all at once. So we're going to restart. We're going to make remake Woody McTato. We're going to take over the Wild West and figure out what the hell the cows came home is because I, I just want to punch cows in the face. It's what I'm here for. All right, how do I... Oh, Cecil. Yeah, no. No. No, Cecil. Woody. McTato. How do I change your character? We did that. Edit your name. We did that. Shoot duckies. Look at that. I'm the best shot in the West. I'm even shooting the prizes. Raising your reward. Yes. Look at this. Look at how much meat we're worth. Raising your reward is just for fun. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I forgot about that. Tape for me, junk brain. Electro, how's it going? Oh, what the hell? No, I'm not a girl. No. Oh, no, it messes everything up. No. No! Da, 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 da. Go back! How do I... I want to be a boy. I'm a boy. Oh! My God! Game, you're really pissing me off right now. Jesus! All right, we're worth seven, seven... Seven, eight, four meat. There we go. I had the strangest dream. I was choosing a character class. I, Bean Slinger sounds fucking hilarious, chat. But I'm a cow puncher. We're gonna punch things with our fist. Cow punchers solve their problems with their fist, whether it's shaking them at a disagreeable feller in a disre disreputable saloon or using them to punch a slightly more disagreeable feller in a slightly less reputable saloon. We're gonna punch all the people in all the saloons. You've heard that cow punchers are in demand out west since the cows came home. Which stands to reason, those cows ain't gonna punch themselves after all. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna knock these fuckers out. My lighting is different? Oh, shit. You're right. Good call. You know, it's not like I had all day to set up. Ugh. There we go. What's up, Pixis? You got a cold and feel like garbage, so you're going full lurk today? Oh. Oh, today is the day to lurk. Don't you worry. Sit back and enjoy the show! What's up, party? Okay. Goodbye, bed. Time to head west to chase my real dreams. This weird poster appeared one night. Huh. It's almost like it's telling me what to do. <laughs> Goodbye, desk. I'm gonna comb my hair. I. I don't have any hair. I can jump. Whee! You gain one XP. Fuck yeah! What do you make, Tato the Cow Puncher? I got nothing in my stomach, nothing in my liver, nothing in my spleen. Okay, I remember most of this. Uh. Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to automatically spend XP. That happened last time, and it, like, automatically made some of our character, and I don't like that. I want stupid walking. Yes! Hey, Russell, how you doing? Caw! Oh, God, Russell. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Why do I have a fucking bird? You guys ever like... You guys ever have a pet bird? My ex had one for a long time. Man, the guy, they were fucking noisy and they smelled bad. Russell seems cool though. Feed Russell a cricket. Here you go. 
You grab a cricket from your cricket bag, you feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, I'm leaving and going out west. Like, I need to let him go. You open your bedroom window, not pictured, and unlatch the door to Russell's cage. He winks at you, calls one last time, and flies away to the west. It's time to hit the trail. I hope we see him again. Look. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit. Da -da -dun -da -dun -da -dun -da -dun -da You're having a bad day, tape wormies. Oh, we'll make it better. You got cross country till the. Okay, Cookie. We'll see you later. Uh oh. My guy's panicking. No, Cookie! Birds are yelly, but they can be really smart. I'm not saying they can't be smart, they just stink. You read the spine of one of your books. The Secret of Monster Graveyard is one of my favorites. Escape from the Haunted Mine. Treasure of Zombie Grove. This guy just. I, we just love adventure, is what it is. Festus Brown in the old cave. Oh my god, how many? There it is. I remember this. You got an item. Stupid walking. Yes. You accidentally drop the book and then ruin it by stepping on it 30 times while you're trying to pick it up. All right, our guy is an idiot. I love it. Turn off the phonograph. Oh, that was where the music was coming from. <laughs> uh, Nothing on the hat rack. Stack the firewood. We got to make sure this place is tidy. We're going out. You're going to miss mom's cooking. Damn. It's mom's pie safe. It keeps all her pies safe. Mom has pre-made pies? Oh. Oh, my God. It's shattered. I thought they were homemade. This is blasphemy. It's super not okay to have birds at home. Like they should do bird stuff and fly. It's a raven? Oh, what's up, my dog? You dislike birds, you don't trust anything that can fly and shit at the same time. <laughs> you like penguins which can't fly, so there's a pattern. Mom's ink scribbled pie, my favorite. Mmm, ink scribbling. Uber dot oh god, what the f okay, there's just there's all kinds of shit in here. He loves kid stuff like this. You got cube puzzle. Oh, that's right. I have a brother. It's covered with weird diagrams and charts. Tidy. And my brother's all weird and tidy and shit. Oh, this is my house. No time to screw around. Time to head west. Uh... Hi, Mom. Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, Mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. Yeah, what'd you get me? It's a book you wanted for Crimbo. What the fuck is Crimbo? Is that, like, Christmas? I know it's early, but... Oh, the one about picking locks, the one about desert survival, the one about bartering. We should do desert survival, I think. Like, picking locks is... <sighs> Maybe we pick locks? This is, like, extra loot. Bartering? I don't want to barter. Desert survival. I think I remember this one, and it was like you get different stuff from cactuses, and it, I don't know, it didn't like, I think we're going to go with the lock picking book, yeah. That's the one, enjoy it! Locks and how to pick them. Please be careful out there, write us a letter when you can. She hugs you. I will, Mom, goodbye. Don't you worry, Bob, I'm going to be the best fucking cow puncher out there. Dad? Dad's fucking jamming out over here! Your father morosely jabs at the haystack. That hat doesn't fit you? That's kind of mean. Time for me to leave, Dad. His lip quivers a little. Listen, I... I want you to have this. It's your... Grandmother's? Brass knuckles? You got an item, brass knuckles. These were your grandma's brass knuckle. Your grandma was a force to be reckoned with. 
Your grandma beat me with these. I didn't get spanked. I got knocked the hell out. Thanks, Dad. Good good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. Already did. I gotta equip grandma's brass knuckles. How do I Oh, read it. You quickly memorize the entire book. Wow, our guy's a prodigy. After you're done reading it, you donate it to a local orphanage. Soon those orphans will be able to make their escape! Fly! Fly! Get out of there! The locks are all that's holding you in! Oh, God. Take the bartering one? Shit! Oh, I'm sorry, Barry. You thought you were gonna miss the beginning? No, Red Fury, you'll never miss it! You picked being the snake oiler, and Grandma had a briefcase full of snakes, which is super normal. Grandma's scary. Oh, and here's our weird brother. Your brother Rufus is standing there looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Here's your puzzle, buddy. You hand him the puzzle, and he starts fidgeting with it. Say goodbye. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point. You know, why are you going west? Dude. Seek my fortune, help. I don't want to say get off the stupid farm. That's not nice. Seek fortune. Seek fortune! There's just no opportunity here, kid. If I'm going to make something of myself, got to go where I can make some meat. But it's so dangerous! 60% of people who go west get killed within a year! And that statistic is, statistic is from before the cows came home. I, I still don't know what this is. The, I'm, I'm assuming this is like some cataclysmic event. I'll be okay, Rufus. You worry about taking care of mom and dad, I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so, I think you'll be dead by Crimbo. Wow! My brother's an asshole! I'll miss you, Rufus, you bitch. God! You're gonna be dead! You're gonna die! It's like, oh, God. He, look, he's just fidgeting, like, oh, oh, oh. Can I get his room? He's gonna die. All right, we're going west. Your, isn't your first rodeo. Okay, I, I got through the first town before. I know. Would you like to skip the Boring Springs prologue and head straight to Dirtwater? No. N what? No. Let me play the damn game. West of Loathing. Here we go. Here we go, chat. We're on the bumpity road west. Um keeping watchful lookout in a cart full of what appears to be large carrots. I like this horse, though. Real long body, real short head. What the hell am I doing? Are they turnips? Oh, good. I hit myself. Excellent. Timmy, what's going on? Contact high. How you doing? The demon cows are actually scary to you? There's like floating demon cow heads. I don't. 200 miles later. Oh my god. Does anyone know how long it would take to go 200 miles in a horse drawn cart? Um, oh. Oh, I'm dead. Well, what a good game, chat. We're already dead. We made it 200 miles, but no further. The bad news is you fell off the cart and got knocked out for a couple hours. And now you've got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. The good news is that you're in a town rather than a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. Get up and dust yourself off. <sighs> yes. Hey. Uh. Oh, I come from... What the f Okay, great. It's a drunk. Oh, a it is a turnip. You got a dusty turnip. What do I... I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> You dust off the turnip and eat it. Now you understand why people don't tend to eat raw turnips. Well, look, it's all I had! We're powerful now. Fucking love this. Ass race on open ground. <laughs> Wee! I just ass raced across poop. Oh my god. Okay, so the horse guy's gone drinking. Excellent. As you walk into the saloon, some crazy-eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves to get your attention. Oh, is this Pete? Where's your hat, dagdammit? Well, I... You can't drink here without a hat. It ain't proper. 
He points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. If I take a hat but don't leave a hat, what, what is, what is that? What is, what does it mean? Am I, am I the scummy guy? Am I the scummy guy who does, who takes the, the pay it forward and doesn't pay it forward? That's me! I'm the asshole. Shit! You look through that hat box and find a sturdy looking Stetson. Looks like something you'd wear. Yeah, four gallon hat, baby. Oh, look at that, plus one muscle. Thanks, er, Pete! Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly, if somewhat twitchy nod. Say, feller! You heading west? If in you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Well, uh, no pressure! All right, crazy Pete. We'll keep that in mind. I like you, Pete. What the? Say all kinds of things. For instance, I've been mining these mountains longer than a slam jam slam jammered mule can whistle Dixie. Uh, okay. Y you do that. These two are playing poker, or at least trying to. They keep looking back and forth from their hands to the how to play poker card that came with their deck, biting their lips and concentrating real hard. Oh, I remember this. You could play with them. But I don't have any money. This guy's asleep. He fell asleep with a full beer. This is this is outrageous. You just can't do this. Oh God, not this. Not the spittoon chat. No. Oh, I hate this. It's a spittoon. People spit in it. You know, even without looking at it, that's absolutely disgusting. We're going. It's full of spit. Regular spit. Gross tobacco spit. Chewing gum. And what looks like a few teeth as well. It's horrible. It's disgusting. And the smell. Even from a distance, it smells horrible. You are now on your hands and knees peering into the filth encrusted spittoon. I, I don't... I don't understand what is wrong. <laughs> We're breaking the fourth wall here. I don't understand what's wrong with you. Wait, is there something shiny at the bottom? Oh, oh, shiny! Get it! You reach your hand towards the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like vomit. The vomit trowel at the mesquite barbecue eating contest. Ew. You hesitate. Never mind. Never surrender. Never surrender! You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes a sound like glop. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Escape? No. Never. Search! Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's terrine slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring. Probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations. You got an item. Nasty ring. Woo! I'll put that right on. I'm going to tumbleweed myself on over to the bar, too. Hooah! You think a new barbecue restaurant opened on campus? Oh, do it! Do it. Barbecue is the best. You walk up to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign type taped to the back wall reading, Reward for Lost Mugs, 25 meat each. The bartender finally notices you. Howdy, cowboy! Howdy, barkeep. Name's Woody. What brings you to our little backwater? Yeah, give me. I need work. Oh, the usual. I came out west to make fortune. Not much. Haven't much luck so far. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Borton Springs already has more people than it has jobs. It's more of a errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend talking to the railroad people up by Dirtwater. I think I remember. Dirtwater's the next town. Ask about. Yeah, you got errands? Yeah. This forsaken burg is always falling apart in one way or another. The hostler's always needing help since he hurt his leg, and that no-account sheriff, sheriff, oh, sheriff, Duh. could certainly stand to have someone doing his job for him. Anything else? Well, I've got a gobble noose in the basement. Some, the fuck? Some cowpoke in from around the gulch done wipe his boots off and got spores everywhere. Wait, I don't remember this. 
Motherfucker didn't wipe his boots off! Probably handle a goblin. Much obliged. I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh, and you'll need this. You got a weak item. You got an item weak fungicide. Don't kill me a goblin. Where's the basement? This is the basement? Oh, look at him. Oh, he looks happy. Oh, oh, God. Oh, he's angry. Oh, get him. Uh, spray him. Oh, get out of here, goblin. We win. Having dispatched the goblin, you pat yourself on the back for a job well done. You gain three XP. Sweet. Ooh, whiskey. Mmm. Pile of old newspapers. Take one. The Boring Springs Gazette. Lame. I don't want a newspaper. Do I read this? No. Mm. Took care of that little goblin problem for you, buddy. Took care of the goblin. Thank you kindly, Woody. I knew he was a stand-up fella the moment you walked in here. She reaches under... She? Oh, shit. I thought it was a dude. She reaches under the bar and grabs a bag of meat. Here you go. It's the least I can do by way of thanks. You gain 200 meat. Uh, who's this fella at the bar next to me? Well... Might be you should ask him yourself, seeing he's right here. He won't bite you. He... He might bite me, though. I want to play cards with these guys. Yeah, can I play? They look at you nervously. What do you mean nervously? Look, I got fucking meat. You put 20 meat on the table and sit down before they can say no. I'm in! I'm in! Shuffle! One of them shuffles the cards sloppily and deals a new round. You get a pair of tens, plus a two, a three, and a king. We have a pair of tens. This is terrible. Back conservatively. They squint at their hands for a moment, and each slowly pushes ten meat on the table. Okay, read him and weep! You show your pair of tens, plus two, three, king. The guy on the left has a full... Oh, fuck. And the gal on the right somehow got a straight flush. You explain the jacks are worth nine points, giving the guy on the left a total of 21 to the gal on the right's 20, and you're 25 plus a king. They squint at the rules again, but eventually shrug and nod at you. What? We're adding up the numbers? Oh. They don't have enough meat left to bother with. It looks like they're playing for spiders now. Ew. Ah! Ah, get away! I was gonna, like, now that I know how they want to fucking... Play... I... Who knew the cards were played like that? Tato reading so many things, I'm gonna listen to this while I sleep the next days. Cow punching. Oh, yeah. Get on Fortnite? No, Horace! No, we're playing this. I'll be playing Fortnite when we finish this. Should have bet crazily? Aw, yeah. What's up, Dylan? Howdy, I'm Woody. Howdy, Woody. I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hostler. What? What is a hostler again? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, the horse selling dude. Gotcha. Yeah, how's that working out for you? Oh, those horses are just flying out the door. Good. So business is booming, right? No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. <laughs> I remember this. We gotta go get his horses. Is that why you're here drinking instead? Uh, yep. And me being in here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Well, I am in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One. Kind of a boring one. But it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show you. We don't want the boring one, chat. No! We don't want the board. What would you do with two hats? I would wear a hat on my hat, duh. The woman just glares at you. You should probably just let her drink. 
Oh, that's right. We're gonna we have to choose between her and Pete. Uh oh. No, I. I know you want to take a swig of your whiskey. That's what you always do. I should probably leave him alone. Okay. Just not talking to him. I keep stepping in shit. What's up, Sheriff? Face thieving? Okay, we got a face stealer on the loose. Bird theft. Oh. You best not have stolen my bird. Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Boren Springs. I'm the sheriff in these parts. The, the what? He sighs. The sheriff. Okay, blasted sign printers. Say, wouldn't you happen to be looking for work, would you? As a matter of fact, I am. Great, because I happen to have some. There's a gang of hoodlums around here. Last call themselves the Fricker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted out and took my door with them. I ain't, uh, well, ain't much good without the door. And? And I need someone tough, smart, and or slick to go fetch it back for me. I got tough. Yeah, why don't, like... Not that I'm not gonna do this, but, like, you're the sheriff? I gotta stay here and practice my chair tipping. Funny you should say that, because I'm sending the deputy along with you. Keep you out of trouble. He takes a pistol out of his desk and hands it to you. You got an item. Deputy pistol. De this, is the de this is the deputy. You deputized a gun? You're new in town. Maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much to do around here except drink. And deputized pistols. You're right down the Fricker Gang's hideout. You discover a location. Okay, I'll be back with the damn door. Look, you just walk in and out of here. This is ridiculous. This is crazy! Oh yeah, there we go. My deputy pistol. Oh, there is a mug. I thought it was like a menu item or something, but it was there was literally just a mug sitting there. Oh, trade, right. Step right up, step right up, braid's the name and trade's the game. You seriously doubt his name is Braid? Yeah, I I I don't. What you trading? Well, sir, I am trading locks for soap and a stick of dynamite for a needle. And to the cunning skinner who brings me three rattlesnake hides, well, to that adventurous soul, I will trade a fine silver pocket watch. We need to find soap and snake skins. What the fuck? I remember something about him, but holy shit. Get lost. What the? It's the doctor's office. You can't just yell at people and tell them to go away. Oh my god. This. Hello. You approach the weird cactus man hybrid. He smiles at you. Howdy, cactus man. Howdy yourself, and the name's Bill. Cactus Bill. Uh, what? What happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer and turned me into a cactus. Doc Alice warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. <laughs> this is like when your parents tell you horrible lies. Like, oh, don't, you know, oh, oh if, you, if you do this, you know, something bad will happen. My, my dad told me the most horrible one, chat. He was like, oh, if you can't masturbate too much or else you get hairy palms. And I was like, what the fuck, dad? Harry Palms chat. This is this is actually coming out of my father's mouth. Like true story. Like why? Why would you ever say that to your young son? This sounds straight out of an episode of Doctor Who. Pretty much. Incredible. Well, to be honest, partner. Oh, I already read that. That's why they call you Cactus Bill. No, that's just a coincidence. Is he? Is he being, is he being fucking smug with me? Are you being sarcastic? I'm gonna knock you out. Does it hurt? Does what hurt? Oh, you know, being a fucking cactus. No, it's actually kind of nice. The natural fermentation process inside the cactus part of me keep me pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it is a mite boring. I mean, you get to be drunk all day. 
So it would be bad if I had something to read. You don't happen to have a newspaper or something to do. Oh, shit, we found the newspaper in the basement. Much obliged, partner. Now let me see. What can I do to return a favor? Oh, I know. My shovel. I left it outside the outhouse. At Ore Hill or Hole Mine. It's yours if you go get it. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Sweet. Now if you could kindly just stick that newspaper to my fi Oh, he doesn't have arms. He does have arms! What the- Maybe they don't move? So I just kind of stuck it there? <laughs> Alright, buddy. Cactus Bill, you're gonna be fine. Uh... Oh, I gotta talk to the- Hold on, I gotta talk to the hostler. God fucking damn it! Oh, fuck it! Let's just- Fucking step in it a million times. One thousand- Oh, fuck. Afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? How's business? Oh, you know, every day I'm- <laughs> Every day I'm hustling. Where's the fucking- I need the song now. Motherfucker. Tell you the truth, though, it's pretty horrible. All my horses keep running away. Oh, you told me this one because you, you drink all day long, and while you're drinking, they run away. You're an idiot. Oh, God, yes, thank you. Please. I'd go fetch it myself except for this- Injury? What injury? Why- yeah, why are they at these places? I think they like the environments that are thematically appropriate here. When you find one, feed it some of these oats. It should send it right back here. You got a bag of homing oats. How does that work? Yeah, they're special pigeon-infused oats. Sure they are. What injury do you- Yeah, you said something earlier about an injury? Busted my knee while mucking out the showroom. Don't ask how, it's embarrassed. I was gonna get Doc Alice to have a look at it, but she gave up doctoring. Yeah, she just sits inside of her fucking house yelling people to go away. Nobody knows. She just shut herself up in her office, said she wouldn't talk to anyone except Nurse Whiskey. Is that an actual nurse? Or <laughs> pretty sure she was being sarcastic. Wait a minute. Wait. I never did this, chat! Oh, nurse! <laughs> no window delivery for you, Doc. What brand? Nurse Whiskey. Your favorite, I'm led to believe? Didn't know she makes house calls. All right. Hold on. You hear a rattle, she unlocks the door. What? Oh, she's sad. And there's a lot of TNT in here. Why is there TNT next to a fire? She looks to be in about her 50s. Her hair is graying and her face is lined, but her eyes are still clear and sharp if bloodshot. She holds out her hand. Whiskey, stat. I... I almost want to say we don't give it. She sounds like she needs to... She scowls at you. Well, what the hell did I let you in here for then? I, maybe we should talk about your... Oh, okay. <laughs> Take all the TNT! This lady looks sad. Yeah, I didn't want to feed her more booze. I wanted to talk about it. She cracks open the whiskey and fills a small flask she takes out of her pocket. She then puts the flask back in her pocket and starts chugging down the bottle. Yeah, that doesn't, like, that doesn't seem healthy. Who's the doctor here, me or you? Okay, point taken. But, like, is everything all right? That depends on how fast I can get this whiskey into my bloodstream compared to how fast my liver filters it out. And I can't talk and drink at the same time, so she glares at you meaningfully. What, like, what, what's going on? The whole world's gone to hell in a ha house horse cart. And you ask, what's the matter? Bandits, cow demons, dead men walking. Why don't you go ahead and pick one and I'll drink to that. Yeah, dead, dead men. 
You haven't seen it? Corpses and skeletons staggering around like puppets with half of their strings cut, looking to take a bite out of the living? Yeah, no. No! Going back home! Mom! Mom, get my room ready! Count your lucky stars and stay out of the town cemetery, then. And it doesn't look like it sees much use. Preen a little? I plucked my eyebrows, chat. Hey, Doc, can I look at your books? Sure, if you want to. Not that they're going to do you much good in this doomed, forsaken hellhole. Holy shit. You should try being less cheerful. Holy shit! Try being more... Morbid. <laughs> Tato tried to give an intervention. I'm trying, Steeler TNT. I'm... Mary, I'm getting to it. You surveyed the books on the shelf. They're all medical textbooks except for a few. The Legend of Curly's Meat. The Life and Works of Fred Ferguson. The Goblinoid Tongues. Okay. Wait, can I learn to speak Goblin? I don't know who Fred Ferguson is. Zephyr, what's going on? You love this game? Oh, I love it, dude. What's Goblin? Oh, shit! Okay. I just wanted to see what it would do, not fucking pick- Oh, wait, can I still pick through the others? You start flipping through the Goblin language book, it's confusing at first, but you eventually get so engrossed that by the time you take a break from reading, several blurfs have passed. But you know that a blurf is a Goblin word for hour. You've learned to speak Goblin, sort of. Sweet. How about Curly's meat? Book tells the story of a legendary treasure, a massive chest filled of premium meat. Secreted in the hidden sense, not the extruded sense. What the fuck? In the western desert by an old cowboy named Curly Butterfield. Okay. This book purports to be a Civil War surgeon's biography. But flipping through it, it's mostly just lists of reasons that drinking alcohol is bad. So it's actually the work of ludicrous speculative fiction. Yeah, this doctor is not reading this, these books at all. At least there's some useful appendices in the back and some diagrams of appendices. You gain 3 XP. Uh, okay. So, so no! Thank you for the host, buddy! Callie, what's going on? You love the misspelled cemetery? Yeah, there's all kinds of weird ass shit. The stove is spotless. Either she's really compulsive about cleaning or she never cooks. I'm gonna go with the second one. Yeah, should. No, exactly. Shouldn't this be further away from the fireplace? Like, there's a lot of explosives here. Apparently, I can't steal it. Did you go through that whole bottle already? Oh, it's just the same conversation. So I. I'm half expecting this building to blow up. We're just gonna hear like a detonation. I, I just know it. All right, we gotta go find... What do we gotta do? We gotta... Let's go get the door back. Thud Fricker. The Fricker Gang's intrepid lookout. Appears to be taking a little nap. Okay. <laughs> Alright. You know what, chat? We're manly men. Crack our knuckles. I'm not gonna just shoot. We're gonna wake him up. You poke Thud with your boot. He slowly gets to his feet. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Thud is... Well, let's say he's no Rhodes Scholar. If we assume that in, it's seven years from now and that idiom makes sense, you feel bad about the idea of killing him. Just... Just walk away, dude. Thud, you don't want this life. Take a hike. Okay, you're probably right. You also, like, shave your eye... Like, take, take a look at your eyebrows. Like, just get that thing... Get it taken care of! Thud stumbles off into the desert. He'll probably be fine. You got the perk honorable. I did. What does that do? Honorable. 
Honorable options will be available in some situations. Sweet. All right, chat, muscle up. Uh, more HP. Nah, save it for muscle. You're going full out muscle. Oh, I don't have forging. Pile of random stuff the Fricker Gang stole. Mine? 25 meat, recovered thing. Oh, another recovered mug and a pair of silver cufflings. Uh... Okay. Guess it's just like a quest item. In we go! Dozing in the bathtub. Okay, I remember tying this guy up, but I want the soap. Yeah, can you pass the soap? He mumbles and hands you a bar of soap before sinking further into both sleep and the tub. Is he just... I'm just gonna tie him up. Carefully tie his hands together and then to the handles of the tub. The sheriff can come collect him later. Yeah, just enjoy your nap, buddy. Like, don't drop the soap! I'm not gonna drop the soap! What is this, by the way? Oh, it's like my power-ups. Have you guys ever fallen asleep in the tub? That seems... dangerous. You cautiously approach the Fricker Gang. They're actually engrossed in their poker game, so it doesn't actually require that much caution. You hide behind a barrel and eavesdrop on the conversation for a while. The one with the eye patch is quiet. You gather his name is Snipe. And that the squirrely one is his brother, Wimpy. What's your play here? Approach him and talk. The one without the eye patch raises an eyebrow at you. Who are you? How'd you get past Thud and Soapy? What do you want? Yeah, I'm here for the sheriff's door. I'll show you the door. The door to hell. All right, motherfucker. Why is there a barrel there? Snipe. Which one do we- Oh, I remember this! Chad, I fucked this up so hard last time. If you attack this dude, this guy snipes you. We gotta get him first, he's a sniper. But first, power up! Oh, we're going beef heavy! Knock your ass out! You're not sniping me this time, you fuck! What are you shooting at? Stop it! Oh! Bullets don't harm me! Do you think you can hurt Woody McTato? Get fucked! The leaves of the Fricker Gang are dead by your hit. I fucking killed them? Oh my god! These hands are lethal weapons! The sheriff would be proud of you, though you're not so sure how your mother would feel. Okay, I didn't mean to fucking kill them. I thought I was just gonna knock them out. Alright, meat and things. Here's the door. Alright, I... I... killed them. Most of you... You've almost fallen asleep in the shower? I've fallen asleep in the shower before, actually. But I wonder, like, if you fall asleep in the tub... And your head goes underwater, do you like immediately wake up? Like, would your body like. Would that be a reflex? Let's go give him his freaking door back. Not stepping in the shit again. Not this time. Alright, here's your door. Yeah, one or two. Oh, 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 here we go. You hand the sheriff his door, and he hangs it back on the hinges. Nice work, stranger. This here prison cell just got about four times more secure. I'd say it got like infinitely more secure because there's actually a fucking door there. Any fricker boys left for me to round up? Yeah, this is, this is like, this is like two. There's also some dead corpses with a lot of bruises on them. Um, just 
just ignore those. He produces a big bag of meat. Ooh. Got another little simple task for you if you got the time. Yeah, what, what do you need? The Fricker Gangs busted the lock when they took the door. Gonna need a new lock. Okay, so this must be the trading thing. Because he said he's trading a lock. Did we... What was the soap for? Soap for... Woo! Soap for a lock! I, I don't I don't know why, but here you go. Here's your here's your lock. That one right here. That'll do nicely. He puts the lock on the on the cell door, then accidentally drops the key, and it clatters into the cell. Hellfire. Uh He locked the cell. You fool! Don't suppose you know how to pick a lock. Actually, I do. Oh, but I need a needle. Shit. I don't have a needle! Do you have a needle? Needle. I don't have a needle, Chad! Let's turn some of these mugs. There you go. Yeah, who's a lady? That's Susie. She's a rancher from nearby, a real tough broad. I ain't recommend you pester her. Why is that? Lost her whole family to a cow attack recently. Those cows must pay! Howdy, Susie! Howdy, cowboy who's gonna be searching the spittoon for his teeth if you don't leave me in peace. I already looked in the spittoon. It was... There was already teeth in... Have you done this before? Oh my god, chat. Oh my god, chat, those... She's done this before! That's where the teeth were in there! Oh my god. Can you... She's not gonna talk. She's not gonna talk to us! Uh... Where should we go, chat? Let's go, like, around in a circle. Alright, so the mine. What are we doing at the mine again? Oh, we got the shovel. The shovel was from the cactus man. Get some meat from the cart. Nice. Oh, give me. Yeah. At least there's no plunger hooked up to it. Okay, so we gotta get through there. We need a plunger. Okay. Cargo elevator control. Poster on the wall behind reeds. Oh, plungers, both kinds. Level two. Both kind. Oh, both kinds. I need a toilet plunger. Take one. All right, hook the plunger up. There we go. <gasps> Boom. Wait, what? You press the plunger, nothing happens. You forgot to hook up a blasting cap. gonna need a curl bar. Oh my god, tools! Please! Ah, I don't have a need out! Oh my god! Ah. Okay. I guess we can't do this? I need a needle for like 18 things now. Where I came from, that's right. Where do I find a needle? Do you have an ow? Someone in the bar have a needle? Yeah, I already talked to everybody. Let's muscle up. 
tough customer. Gives me more melee attack damage. Need harder punches. Stronger punches. Oh, wait. What's this? There's a chunk of wood from the broken, broken board. What's that? Oh, wait, what? No, 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 no. Oh, hold on. What the fuck? <laughs> we beat people with sticks! Pretty sure this does more damage though, right? Yeah. But we don't want that. Maybe I have to go to one of the other places? Um... Wait, no, I need a knife for the snakes. That's right, because you can skin them, but I don't have a skinning knife yet. Oh my god! How about here? You have a needle? Why was I here again? Oh, right, one of the horses came here. Dig up the grave? Fuck yeah, I want to dig up the grave. I'm going to knock your ass out! Ah! Fucked. Oh shit, it survived. Ow! I punch stronger! Put a stop to this. Captain Skeleton's unnatural animation. Got a shit ton of XP. Old cavalry saber and a gold tooth. I'm pretty sure this is. Oh yeah. Oh baby. You having some trouble there, buddy? Don't stop stop skittering around. Return to the depths! Collapses into a loose pile of bones. Oh, there, yeah. Okay, there's the spooky horse. Hey! You approach the weird semi-transparent horse cautiously so as not to startle her. Though you quickly come to the realization that this is not a horse that startles easily. Yeah, because it's a ghost! I'm a friend, okay? Nay. That's a little strange. How did you do that without opening your mouth? Because you're a ghost. Pat her on the nose, which is very cold. If you were going to ride her, you would need an extra saddle blanket to keep your butt from freezing. Here you go. Take the oats. <laughs> Nay. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits. Stick of dynamite equals needle. No, I don't want to know. You got to take a stupid CPR class? All right, Hardy. We'll see you later, buddy. Old school, you got your first win, too? Nice, buddy. Here you go, girl. Have some oats. You hold out a handful of oats for the horse, but she just sort of stares right through you. Take it. Take the oats. You hold out the oats, but the horse continues to ignore them. What's the matter? Are they not spooky enough? I'm not sure how to make oats... Oats spooky, but I guess I can put some bone meal. Oh, that's that's right. You mix it with bone meal to make them spooky. What is this? Whiny, whiny. What is this? Ah, I forget what the sound is, chat. What is this? Don't whine at me. You sprinkle the oats with just a little bit of grave dirt and hold them out again. She grazes expressionlessly and eats them. Nay! And with that, she glides away in the direction of the town. Success! Oh! This is the grave for what's her face at the bar. The Cochrans. I forgot about that. You want? Oh, okay. I need to give him a stick of dynamite. Oh, okay. I got you. Where do I find dynamite? Where do I find dynamite? Is it the mine? Or 
there's dynamite. Oh, there's a there's a mug. Mine. Hmm. You give him the needle for dynamite. I need a needle. I don't have any needles. Got more mugs for you, lady. There you go. Oh, okay, so this is where you say her name. Okay, how'd you know your last name? Yeah, you saw the graves of the cemetery. She scowls bitterly and mutters into her whiskey. I saw it happen. Saw the whole damn thing and I couldn't do nothing about it. Bartender said it was cows. Goddamn cows. I don't know what those things are, but they ain't cows. Not anymore. Yeah, what happened? It was a raid. See, Mom and Pa used to ranch cattle back before... Well, before they came home. Okay, so it... I don't know what the event is, but when they came home, they were fucking evil. Pa didn't make it, but Ma and I managed to rebuild. We ranched pigs instead, and she left me the place when she passed on. Well, I guess a panching, a, a panching. Uh, tell stupid. I guess a passing herd sniffed out that we used to be a cow ranch, and they attacked. Okay, so they're out for vengeance. A couple days ago, happened so fast I didn't even have time to get my rifle out of the gun safe. Cow smashed in the front door and a fire started out back by the root cellar. House went up in blazes just like that. Yeah, what did you do? I, there wasn't anything I could do. Couldn't get upstairs to the kids because of the fire. I saw Tim trampled right in front of me. I just, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm sorry. She refills her mug from the bottle at the bar and doesn't reply. Yeah, what, what are you, you going to do now? Head west, I suppose. Nothing keeping me here. And no desire to stay. I can't leave without my rifle, though. Why is it? Why not? Why would you want to go west without a rifle? Did we go west without a weapon? No! It was Ma's rifle. It's all I got left of... <laughs> of anybody. All right, I'll get it for you. Where is it? Left it in the ranch like a damn fool. Listen, can I ask you a favor? I need someone to go get it for me. Yeah, I got it. I got it. We got it. I'm thinking we should, we should take her. Crazy Pete was kind of fun, but she hates cows as much as I do. Susie's ranch was burned to the ground. Yes, it was. And here's the fireplace. God, you can still hear the fucking cows. They're still here. They've come back for more. Ow. I guess we're going in. Something behind the door is making some pretty awful noises. Yeah, it's the cows. Oh, it's the cellar. I thought it was like, you know. Alarm and skinning knife. Alright, I need this. Yeah, it allows you to collect skins from beasts. Yeah, we need this. These pies were not safe. No! They also have a pie safe! Hello? This thing looks angry. You're gonna have to deal with it to get to the safe. A pyrobove! Oh my god, they have mages! This can't be allowed to stand! I hate you, cow! Die! Ow! Fuck you! You defeated the nasty cow skull floating in a cloud of flame, which is really scary, and I really have to know what happened to these fucking cows. Give me that rifle. Like, so what? I, I want to know what the cows came home is. Like, what the heck? Oh, yeah, we returned one of the... Yeah, give me. Got your horse back. Got more mugs for you. Oh, no, I don't. Shit, sorry. And I got your rifle. Her eyes well up with tears as you hand her the rifle, and she roughly scrubs her sleeve across her face before any of them spill. Thanks, stranger. I didn't catch your name. Woody. Woody McTato. Thanks, Woody. Can't rightly say what that means to me. 
She looks at the rifle for a long moment and then looks back at you and she sighs. Well, that's enough wallowing and misery. Time for me to hit the road. If you want me to tag along when you head west, just say the word. You love Crazy Pete? <sighs> All right, we have, we, I'll make that decision. We still gotta make that decision. Pete is so good. But she hates the cows. Okay, so now I can go to this. Now we can go here because I want the snakes out. Snake skins. A sleepy rattlesnake? I... You don't look very sleepy. Oh! Oh, you look sleepy now. You fucking one shot. Chat, we're too powerful. Ow! We've out leveled the zone! Ah! Oh shit. Okay, this one's stronger. I'm just literally making my character all melee. We're gonna punch the shit out of these cows. And when we meet an enemy that can't be punched, then uh, we're dead. Oh, we're just straight dead. <laughs> Oh, this one's angry. Yes. Let the anger well up inside of you. Let it fuel you. Ooh. Whole cowboy doesn't work out. You can always get a job as a snake exterminator. Yes. Hey. What's up, crazy eyes? Are you okay? <laughs> Sorry, it'd be cool to freak out on me. <laughs> yeah, look him in the eye. Yeah, try looking him in the eyes. You calmly look the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixated on the glassy thousand-yard stare, and the other is revolving madly in its socket like he's thinking of trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. He just fucking just explodes. He looks to be calming down a little now that it's clear you aren't actually made of spiders. No, I, I am not made of spiders. That is true carefully and gently pat his nose. He twitches a bit. Okay, a lot. But seems to recognize that you aren't trying to eat his eyes or suck out his soul or whatever madness is bouncing around in that skull of his. That's a good boy. Here you go. Take the oats. A little treat for you. Schnurf. Schnurf, schnurf. You feed the crazy horse some of the homing oats and it gallops away with a whinny. Or rather, hopefully he's heading home and not into the 12th dimension. Okay, I remember making this joke before, but I just watched it again. Fucking Gurren Lagan. Oh my god, it's so obvious. They hit it between the 11th and 12th dimensions. It's like, what? Maybe that's the reference. I have to look that up now. I love that you can't say Winnie. Whatever it is. <laughs> that one. <laughs> he was eating loco weed again. He was eating something. I'm, I'm not sure quite which. All right, we got the snake skins now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How brave you must be. He grabs the skins and hands you a silver shiny pocket watch fine silver pocket watch okay what does that do oh it's just okay I have like silver stuff like cufflinks and pocket watches but like I don't know what I'd do with it maybe I don't know if I trust you with that gun like at all Pete, calm down. Pete's literally like fucking freaking out in his seat. Chad, where do I get a fucking needle from? Mm. Oh, right. I gotta go to...
Oh, the mine. We didn't finish the mine. That's what it was. I can tell you where you need the needle. What do I... We need a needle for everything. Where the fuck is a needle? Someone tell me, please. Mary, help. Where's a needle? Am I an idiot? Did I miss it? I feel like I missed it. Hmm. In the head. Wait, what? No way. we go there's two needles oh god no no stop it a new trade right take some dynamite for this needle oh wait no we don't want to do that I need it here okay level three to open this up and then to go back up and do the other thing Okay, you managed to unlock the toolbox, but the needle is ruined in the process. That's okay. We got the curl bar. We need the curl bar to open up the blasting caps. Blasting cap. Put the blasting cap in here. Here we go. Don't forget the sheriff's door. Oh, yeah, the sheriff's door. Blow this up, here we go. And there's our other horse that I don't know how she got in here. <laughs> horse shies away from you. Though in this case, it's more like cripplingly introverts away from you. We, we turned it into a verb. Hey, come on, don't be like that. Look, I brought some oats for you. They aren't poison or anything. Just got like the thousand yard stare. In retrospect, I guess that wasn't a very comforting thing to say. Yeah, seriously, like. Okay, we can't. She steps further back. Okay, can we feed her the oats? Hold him out to the horse. Here you go, yum yum. She snorts at me. No. She settles away from you, Warley, and makes a surprisingly good attempt at hiding in her own shell. <laughs> okay, apparently I'm gonna eat my own oats. You take a handful from the bag and toss some in your mouth. Ugh. It's like the roughest, blandest, driest breakfast cereal you've ever eaten. Still, it's better than dry cat food, don't ask. You smile to show the horse that you're fine and realize that you've unconsciously turned around and walked out the door. Oh, because I'm trying, I'm homing. The horse waves at you warily as you re-enter with a cheerful wave. See, perfectly fine, here you go. Okay, she finally seems relaxed enough around you. You offer her a handful of the oats. Warily, begrudgingly, she eats them. Then she gestures at something behind you. You turn around to look, but don't see anything. When you turn back, she's gone. Does this music seem loud to you, by the way, guys? It's at 4% and it seems really fucking loud. on my end, actually. There we go. Fixed! Oh, wait. What am I... Got meat. Silver nugget. Oh, wait, wait. Wasn't there, like, a... Yeah, there's a... Okay, there's a hole here. Yeah, but put... Okay, pack some dynamite. Requires three. I don't... I don't have three dynamite, and I'm not trading in three freaking things. 
So I think if you don't have that one skill, it's like Dickerin or something. I think you just can't get that. The Batman horse. Okay, we returned all the horses. Here you go. Rear. Thanks for sending back my dark horse. Oh my. Oh, here's something a little extra. We got all of them. Thanks. Okay, we gotta buy one of these in a minute. Uh, we don't have any more mugs. Oh, we gotta help the sheriff unlock the door. Okay, there you go. Don't drop the fucking key in there again! He looks around for a place to hide it and eventually sticks it under his hat. Thank you kindly, stranger. If Boring Springs ever gets any more criminals, they better watch out. That's a good job you done. Don't mention it. <gasps> Have the souvenir of your time in Boring Springs. Replica Sheriff Badge. Uh, is that equipment? Please. Yes! We have armor! You're compelled by the sheriff badge! Uh. Cell is now usable. At least until sheriff manages to screw it up again, you give him about a week. Yeah, that's that's fair enough. Oh yeah, I need Dickerin. I don't have Dickerin. So I guess... If we don't have any Dickerin, I think that's everything we can do here, right? One day Nightbot will listen to you. Give all the stuff to Pete. Pete, like, tries to rip us off, though. All right, fine. Here you go. Take your seven meat. All right, sell him the nugget. He's I got all the unrefined ore. Here you go. Pete's eyes narrow as the gears in his head start to click. He fixes his gaze upon you, and the tick in his eyelid seems more pronounced. Listen, kid. All this stuff that I've been buying from you, you've been spending time underground, ain't you? Well, you listen to old Pete's advice. You'll stay out of or or hole if you know what's good for you. The stuff down there on the 40th level? That ain't worth messing with a fella who wants to keep his eyes, if you catch my meaning. Wait, what? Fortieth? Oh, we're going. Oh, we're going. What is oh, it's a strange black chest. A wave of nausea hits you as you slide the heavy lid off the chest. Inside, there's a hat. It looks evil, and not in an abstract way. It has eyes, and they look like the eyes of a murderer. And it has teeth, which look like the teeth of an animal who would be a murderer if animals understood the concept of murder. Fucking... Oh, we're doing it! You have a sense of foreboding. Something tells you this is a bad idea. It's, it's me. We're breaking the fourth wall again. I'm telling you this is a bad idea. If you put this hat on, you won't be able to take it off, and things will be much harder for you. It will be as though your life is a game, and that game's difficulty level is greatly increased if you catch my meaning. We're doing it. We're doing it! Yes! You grab the terrible hat and put it on your head. You hear a sigh of pleasure coming from above the forehead. As you feel the hat's teeth sink into your skull, this is gonna be great. Oh, here we go. Here we go! We got the hard mode hat. It's all right, chat, we got this. We're gonna be just fine. I want crazy eyes. Chat, can we get the crazy eyes worse this time? I'm gonna get crazy eyes and we're gonna name it Spoopy. Yeah, is something wrong with him? I'll take it! 
Here's the keys. Why you give? Don't give me the keys to the horse. Name him Mary. <laughs> All right, I I have to. I have to. <laughs> we have to. Marry the horse. It's got a nice ring to it. Almost forgot it. Free with every horse purchase is a complimentary map of exactly where you're going to be going. Yes. Wait, can we talk to Pete and tell him that we put on the hat? Damn it. <gasps> wait, does this do anything for me? Wait, wait, wait. What's the stats on this? Makes the game harder and can never be removed. Great! I lost my muscle. No! Why? Are you sure you're ready to leave? We did everything, didn't we? The thing I don't understand, I have these silver items, but... Potato Riding Mary? Mm -hmm. What's up, Potato Bear? I... I think we did everything. We just, we didn't have dickering, so we couldn't open up that place with the dynamite, but that's okay. Yeah, I think that's everything. Okay, yes! Alrighty then! You're properly horsed and ready to start your life in the West. All you need now is a partner, someone to share the trail with, someone you can rely on for emotional and combat support. Who will you take with you? Go it alone, your hard hat smiles at this idea. Oh, oh no, we gotta take someone. Who are we taking? Are we taking Pete, chat? Crazy Pete and crazy horse. Susie? Take them both? Can I do that? Or should we go it alone? How crazy is Crazy Pete? He shakes around a lot. Let's put it that way. You guys want Susie, though. Not alone, Susie. Everyone's saying Susie. We'll take Susie this time. Last time we took Pete, but he didn't really do much, and he was just funny. But now we got Susie! You consult the southwest map the hostler gave you, and only list two things, the town of Dirtwater and the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company's westernmost camp. Okay. So head for Dirtwater. Mary Winnie's as you approach. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go, Mary. He makes sort of a glurk noise. What the fuck? I combed you and you made a glurk at me. I don't know what that means. Good, crazy, or bad? <laughs> Nay, Tato! Nay! It's your partner. I'd like to check up on some of the ranches in these parts, see how bad the cow attacks are getting. All right, yeah, that sounds good. Not in great detail, but I know roughly where a few are, or at least were. Guess we'll have to see. There's one not far from here. Okay. No, I... Off the trail shoulder, you see some ancient petroglyphics carved into a rock. I, I can't translate them. I don't have mythicality! Another ranch burned down by friggin' cows. Damn, that steams me something fierce. Yeah, we should probably check for survivors. Hey! Oh, it's your partner. What in Sam Hell? What's this cow skull painted up on the wall for? Who would do a thing like that? Hmm. The fuck? What a cat's eye candy. 
Oh, increases spell damage, increases moxie. Okay. Between the smoke and the noise, you're guessing that the contents of this outhouse are more dangerous than the average outhouse contents. I don't know, man. I can I can give you some. Oh shit! No, Susie! How dare you! Oh! Oh fuck, dude! Hastily construct some cover. Dude, sweet. Build, Susie! Build! Ah! Oh, God! This is actually hard! No! Ah! Chad, we're fucked! You end up burnt to a crisp and covered with outhouse juice. more I need more health this is actually gonna be harder Come again fuck you cow no they're so quick <sighs> all right we gotta go all out charge fuck you get it Susie no not Susie Ah! Come on, bitch! I can take a hit! Yeah! Fuck you! No outhouse juices this time! The outhouse is now safe as houses. Outhouses. By the soft light of the fading embers, you see a glint of light from below. You hold your nose with one hand and fish out your prize with the other. I just put my hand in shit. It doesn't matter, I was covered in shit anyway! Flaming shit! Susie carves another notch in the stock of her rifle. Cow hate flashes in her eyes. Her resolve intensifies. Susie has become stronger. No fucking way, chat. She's a cow saying. She becomes stronger with every cow kill. What the heck? Oh, Jethro got fucked up out here. Hold on, okay, I need more health. Uh, character. Grit. Yeah, health. Okay. And then what's the other? Gumption is speed. Okay, we need to upgrade these a little bit. I think we have good offense, but we need, like, speed and more health. Oh, I'm upstairs. Lock picking plus a needle. Yeah, what do you got? Stock certificate. Certificate entitling the bearer to 11 shares of... Just sell it. <laughs> just... Just... Just get rid of it! Nothing left. Damn these devils! Kind of redundant. Hmm. I don't see any bodies. Just those graves out front. Hope whoever dug them got away. Yeah, that's true. Someone dug the graves. Black and beans. Hmm. Ew, spell damage. Ree! Don't want spell damage. All the books on the shelf are burnt, but you notice something strange about the back of the shelf. Find a hidden catch, and the back panel of the shelf slides away to reveal a secret compartment. There's a book inside. Oh, I remember this! Yeah, okay. This is the Diary of Mary Stern's. The AI in Dairy are crossed out and IA written above it. Oh, that makes it better. The diary starts off with typical kid stuff. You flip ahead until you notice the writing getting shakier. Found a dolly under a cactus out back. And she told me her name was Grace. The dolly talks, folks! Mom and Papa ain't believe me that she talks. They say I got a big imagination. Grace says the cows are coming to get us. But Papa says we'll be okay because there weren't never a cow ranch. Oh, so like the cows, the cows won't. 
they won't get vengeance on us because we weren't a cow ranch. They, people think that the cows are only after, like, vengeance. I think they're just killing everything. They're definitely mad at cow ranchers. Grace says he's wrong, but Papa won't believe me. Grace says she can keep the cows away, but I have to play tea party with her. Oh, yeah, here we go. I don't like this kind of tea party, but Grace says it's important to keep the cows away. Mama was sad that they couldn't find Effie. Papa says she's been gone so long they should put a cross up, but Mama won't let him because she thinks she'll come back. Papa said she's only 11. How far could she have gone? And Mama started crying again. Don't want to play tea party anymore, but Grace says I has to. Papa was out two days looking for Joey, but of course he won't find him. Mama cries so much. I tried to tell her him and Effie are helping keep the cows away, but she doesn't understand. I told Grace I'm not playing tea party again, but she says I got to, and if I don't, the cows will eat all three of us. She said either I got to get Mama or Papa to play, or else I got to play myself. The fucking doll is making her kill people. What, what good is the cows being kept away if you just have to sacrifice everyone? It's the work of a moment to fix the cows or the doll's voice box. Pull the string. You pull the string, the doll's eyes move back into its head and the voice begins to move. Hi, I'm Grace. What's your name? Woody. Hi, Woody. You're nice. Do you want to play with me? Sure, let's play a fucking game, huh? Mary used to play with me, but she didn't get to finish her tea party before she went away. Will you help me finish it? Oh, sure, doll! Hooray, the game is almost over. Mary did such a good job. The doll's eyes roll back forward. Go downstairs and get my cup. Do you know the magic word to make the mean cow let you into a secret room? No. The magic word is peanut butter. Peanut butter. Uh... Susie? We got some weird ass shit going on in here. Talking about the painting. There we go. Oh, yeah. Top the sinister looking altar appears to be a copper goblet filled with what appears to be blood. I mean, we're destroying this, right? Like, she's evil. She's making people kill themselves to keep the cows away. You destroyed it last time, let's live life dangerously. But she's crazy! Really want me to play your game? Commit to the evil, we already got that. Okay, the hat doesn't, it doesn't mean it's evil hat. It's just a hard hat. Take it? Oh Chill runs down your spine as you touch the goblet. Sh someone's gonna die, chat. Mark my words. Oh, God. Here we go. All right. Talk to it. My tea! We can finish our party now! Yeah. You carefully pour the blood from the goblet into Grace's mouth. What the fuck? Ah! Grace leaps out of the toy box laughing maniacally and climbs the ranch's house ruins ch The ranch house's ruined chimney. She turns towards you. See you soon. She leaps to the ground behind the house and scampers off to the northwest. That's probably fine. Wow, chat. Way to go. There's a fucking crazy doll flying around now. Grace is gonna kill someone. And it's not on my hands. <laughs> All right, Mary, come on, let's go. Gotta go back to dirt water. Wait, what the fuck? The side of the trail, you see a small hell cow, a hell calf, really. It snorts at a bunch of bush, lighting it on fire, then starts grazing. Ah, oh, kill it! Calm down, Susie, it's only a little one. Kill it before it gets bigger! I mean, that, yeah, like, I agree. Oh, fuck! 
a juvenile Hellcat and it's got 39 health, we are fucked, chat. Ah, oh, cow punch away! Yeah! Eighteen damage? What the fuck? I'm getting fucking carried! Yeah! You get 10 XP, you got... Why did I get cow's blood? What the fuck? You skin the cow with your trusty knife. Okay, good. So I don't have to have it equipped. Thank God. Extra thick leather. Nice. What? Goblet of blood. Why do I still have this? Oh, I didn't equip my toilet pistol. Oh my God. Wait, the crowbar does five to six. What is this? Five to six for the saber, too. Might as well have the saber, though. What the fuck, chat? We're getting carried. We gotta... We gotta toughen up! Need more HP. Never was much for city living. Too crowded and noisy. Back on the trail soon enough, don't you worry. Susie's so much better than Pete. Yeah, well, she just fucking, she's busted. All right, we're going to the saloon. What do we got? They're engrossing conversation, let them be. What the fuck was that? They must have fallen asleep during a brawl. Naturally, they just kept going. What do you think of this place? It's all right. Town's a bit busy for my taste, but it takes, but it makes a change from being on the road. Gotta wash the dust off once in a while, right? Uh, yep. Then you can go back out and collect some fresh new dust. Well, hello there. Howdy there. Always nice to see a new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. What the hell? Oh, one sec, chat. Good to know you, Woody. Folks around here just call me Lloyd. What can I do for you? Yeah, what's up, Lloyd? You, you, you advertising a room. I need a room. That's right. Finest room in the house, too. And you plenty of room for your partner, too. Interested? How much does it cost? Well, that's where you're in luck. The previous tenant was a banker fellow. Paid a month in advance. Seem... God damn it. Fuck. Previous tenant was a banker feller. He paid a month in advance right before getting himself killed by bandits. Oh, good. Let's... We're gonna go sleep in a dead man's room, chat. Great. Fantastic. Insult yourself? Ah, pass. What up, hoss? What the hell's a hoss? Saying boss? Gal doesn't look like she's in the mood to talk. Oh, here. Uh, here we go. This is a spittoon, which is a sort of brass bucket that people spit into instead of spitting on the floor. Because not spitting at all is not an option in this society, I guess. I say this despite knowing that you're pretty innately familiar with spittoons already, sicko. Hey, don't you fucking fourth wall me. Here we go. Look. The Jewel Saloon is a pretty nice as far as saloons go. Actual glass in the windows, more than two kinds of drinks, a poker room instead of a cockfighting pit, but this spittoon is still a spittoon. The rancid tobacco spit inside isn't fancy rancid tobacco spit. <sighs> Sigh, here we go again. All right, fine, you're now hunkered down next to a brass filth bucket, which has probably never been cleaned or emptied because you're near the desert, and the ambient humidity around here is probably... 
is pretty low, low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quickly as it accumulates. That's... So that's good, right? No, that's bad! Because it's only the water part of the spit that evaporates. This brass bucket is half full of the rest of the spit, the toxins and filth that don't evaporate, several years worth, distilled and concentrated until it's contingency of molasses. People aren't allowed to flick cigarette butts into the spittoon anymore because they bounce out. Search it. You're about to put your hand into a bucket of something the color and viscosity of maple syrup, except instead of maple, it's flavored with the inside of the mouths of people who chew cigars instead of smoking them and never brush their teeth. Yep. Glorp! Feels like putting your hand into a bucket of lukewarm tapioca pudding, except instead of tapioca, it's basically poison. It smells like someone ran over a skunk, waited a week, and then set it on fire. It feels like your hand is dissolving. Just keep going, baby. You found something. You found a tacky, filth-covered porcelain cow figurine, a useless, disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom for your children, assuming you're still able to have any and you hate them. You darn tootin'. Oh, baby. What do we got? Where'd that go? Oh, it's my offhand. Yes, melee attack damage. Oh, melee attack damage! Ah! Can I level anything up? I need gumption. I need to be a little faster. So these cows are getting the first fucking head off. The old man stares off into the distance, listening to the piano. He doesn't react at all. Great. Piano player is not very good at his job. The man points to a sign at the counter, slop. I would like to buy some slop, please. Thank you. Wait, do I have any effects? Oh, I do. I'm angry. Anger makes me stronger. Can I eat food? Play to slop? Slop fed. Okay. Wait, what the hell? This is some blood from a demon cow. It pulses and scintillates and bubbles as if it were alive, although I'd guess the bubbling would kind of be a problem if it were alive. Increases your muscle by 11 and max HP by 25 for the rest of the day, but you shouldn't drink it. But we have to become, how, how can we, we can't, do we drink? Is, is this fell blood? Are we going to become that which we hate? Are we sacrificing everything, chat? I'll keep it for emergencies. Oh, examine it. Oh, shit. You got a picture of Mary Stearns. Where's... Serious looking little girl. The back is written, Mary Stern's Thanksgiving. Sad. What, are we gonna, like, find her later? Oh, shit! What if it's one of these people? Poker room? Play poker. No room at this table. No room at this table. Oh, we're playing poker. You sit down at the poker table. A dealer emerges from somewhere in the back and sits down next to you. The lady to your right introduces herself as Sandy, and the player to your left says his name is Gene. The dealer tells you that the ante is 20 meat. Fuck yeah. The dealer gives the deck a shuffle and then deals. A hand of cards glides across the table to you. It's a pretty decent hand. A two-eyed jack, three fives and an eight of hearts. It's the first round. The pot is 60, and you estimate your chances of winning at 30%. Grit your teeth and strategize. Wait, what? Oh, sweet. You jock your hat at a jauntier angle, plus 20% win chance. Move on to the next round. It's the second round of betting. The pot is 60, and you estimate your chances of winning at around 50%. Dude, strategize. It's the last round of betting. Time to do or die. The pot is at 60 and you estimate your chances of winning. Forcefully strategize? 
You grunt and strain and tear one of your cards in half. Now you have two of that card. Plus 20% win shit. What the fuck? Ah, I'm just gonna make my own cards. You frown and reveal a straight... What the fuck? I had a 90% win chance! Fuck you! Yeah, cleverly, cleverly raised. Yeah. Cleverly strategize. Forcefully strategize. The fucking... What the fuck? Ninety percent win rate. You win. There we go. Jesus. Oh, check. Okay, check. Call. You lose. Oh. Pot is one fifty. That's a lot of fucking meat. Forcefully strategize. Seventy percent win rate. If we win 70%, then we want to raise them, right? Because then we get more money. There! Ah! I got it now, chat! Now I got this. We're going to win money. Okay. Uh, we're going to raise them. Strategize. 50%. Strategize more. 70%. You lost. Fuck! All right. That's enough playing. That's enough of that. How come they're allowed to drink without hats on? What, you don't like your hard hat? My guy doesn't like his hard hat. Chat, we need the, uh, we need the llama bell from Fortnite. <laughs> Fortnite's feet for setting it straight. We gotta set this here thing straight. Oh, that's right. This guy needs, like, a bunch of help, too. What are you doing in here? Employees only, bud. Oh, sorry. I was just, you know, looking around. Ah, so you're the nosy type, huh? I prefer adventuresome. As it happens, there's something you can do for me. I'm out of saltpeter. and need someone to go pick up some more for me. Saltpeter? Isn't that used to make gunpowder? And other things. Look, who's the chef around here? Me or you? Okay, okay. Where can I find it? Your best bet's a military camp. Oh, okay, because it's used to make gunpowder. Shut up. The nearest one is Fort Cowardice. They keep it in little green jars. The chef marks the fort on your map. You discover a new location. Jesus Christ, we're gonna poison people. One, two, three, four, meat. Oh, yeah! Look at that. All right, Chad, we can never get or spend any more meat ever again. Dirt water mercantile. Oh, well, there's all the dynamite we needed. Okay, we need... I want to get all the dynamite then. Soda crackers increases speed. Can I, like, do all these? Like, we want blood sausages. I want advanced cow punching. I already have a shovel. Used to discover a new map location if you can find a high vantage point. Eh. Look, I don't want to sell anything, though. Because you never know when... This, like, this says just sell it, but, like, watch it, watch it become some kind of invincible item later in the game. Like, I just, I just know it's going to happen. Advanced Cow Punch in Volume 69. Oh, baby. Okay, there's a complex pronunciation guide written here by a linguist who was raised by cows. Give Menacing Moo, a skill that reduces the muscle of all your opponents. There's a chapter about situational awareness and its, ever, and its importance when trying to survive in a world full of demon cows. 
perk that increases maximum AP by two. That could be useful. Punching people so hard that they stop moving gives Haymaker. Combat skill that deals damage and briefly stuns. I, I mean, I should probably get Haymaker, right? Because... Susie is so fucking strong that, like, I can stun lock people. I'm gonna do that. Unfortunately, by the time you're done practicing, you've splattered the book with cactus juice ruining, ruining it. Fuck me. One day I'll be able to read multiple things out of it. Any mail for me? Mm, nope. Darn. Oh, yeah, we could send her postcard. We have that blank one. Let's have it. You write a quick let note to Rufus letting him know what you've been up to and that you're okay. That'll be, oh, it's one of them prepaid ones. That'll be zero meat then. Yeah, send it. Send it! Little girl is selling flowers. All right, we'll buy some sweet smelling flowers from you. I don't want you to feel bad. She's probably like counting her fucking meat money. I swear to God, little kids can make so much cash from this. How are you, the sheriff here? No, we don't currently have a sheriff. I don't really want to, like, stay in this town. I can offer to help. Sure, if you're good with a gun, there's always some ne somebody in need of justice. Wanted posters are back there. Sells are over yonder. She points behind herself and off to the right, respectively. I wonder if I just punch people to death. Can I, can I still help? I, I, I don't really do much in the way of guns, you know? Wanted the stripey hat gang for grand theft paint and tasteless hat vandalism. Last seen in the vicinity of Cavern Canyon. Dirty rotten paint thieves and low, di low down no fashion sense hat vandals, despicable. Go after him, fuck yeah. Evil motherfuckers. House in the desert gang for mortgage non-payment, squatting, and general public nuisance. Also for murdering two collection agencies. Oh, good. Let's go in right behind him. Let's follow them to our doom. You wonder if the house is named after them or if they're named after the house. In any case, at least their location is unambiguous. Want to go after them? Fuck yes. Anything over here? A lot available, a lot available, a lot available, a lot available. No available lots past this point. Oh my god. Let's see. What should we do first? Oh, first I need to eat this. Yes. Can I eat? Beans I don't need. Cats I know. I don't really want anything else anyway. I just want the blood sausages. My punch is to be all that more effective. We're running low on money too. Shit. Well, let's go after these gangs then, I guess. Oh, the desert house. A few hundred yards up the trail, you see a solitary skeleton trudging towards the northwest. It doesn't seem to have noticed you or anything else. Can't let it just wander around. Oh, shit. Ow. 47. What the fuck? Can't let this just get away. Bring you in for justice. Damn, she's carrying me. Ow. There we go. Victory! Handful of loose teeth and a gold teeth. Excellent. Just collecting teeth out here. As you dismount and approach the house where the bandits are holed up, you hear a voice from the inside say, What was that? Uh, uh-uh. Looks like you're gonna have to be sneaky if you want to avoid a full-on fracas. Sneaky's my middle name. Wait, really? No, I... No, like... No, I was kidding. <laughs> nope. Just kidding. The sound of it, you'd say this doghouse contains an angry dog. 
This doghouse contains an angry dog. Very funny. You're not going to be able to get past it without alerting the gang. Fuck it. Oh. Oh, they're just coming right out. Fuck! No, they're destroying me! Oh my god! Ah! Uh, this will not end your turn. Okay, thank god. Quick, put band-aids on! Uh. Oh god, I can't get beefy now. 20 damage. This 42, 41, coffee house. Okay, this guy is double shotting me though. Hey oh god, please cover. Please save me! Please! Okay, good, good. Yeah, shoot the cover. Oh, thank god! This is perfect! Alright, one down! Are they just gonna... Whatever, they're just gonna keep hitting the barrier! Quick! Take them down before they take it down! It's still holding! I don't know how! I don't know what's happening! Okay! Haha, you guys are getting fucked on! Die! 30 XP, baby. Bag of ears and... S Why do I have a bag of ears? Desert Gang 6-Gun. Where's the dog? The dog wandered off in search of better masters. Good for it. What is a desert... No, I can't abandon the toilet pistol! Never! Uh... What was the other thing? Bag of ears? Why do I have a bag of ears? You didn't feel like carrying the entire house in the desert gang, so you just took a few bits. <laughs> Proof! That Tato does things. Woody McTato is the best. Is that it? Is there no one else here? Oh. Success! So w Susie makes you invulnerable to enemies that only have guns. Apparently. Not exactly what, uh... Not exactly what I was expecting. Okay. We need gumption, because they're always going first. Probably get... Should probably get two gumption. What's glamour? Meat games, item finding, liver... The amount of damage you take from spells. How much damage you take when getting shot. I want to focus on these though. I want muscle. I want to be a muscle man. Just need to cover these. We could probably work on though. Uh. uh let's go for the other one. Let's go for Cavern Canyon. Cause that's the other. That's the other group. You crest the hill to see a skeleton. Propped up on its elbows, looking through a pair of binoculars at the horizon. I guess he died before whatever he was waiting for showed up. Mine! Oh, these were 200 bucks in the shop, too. Thank God. We'll get them for free. They also come in pairs, because otherwise they wouldn't be binoculars. Yeah, they'd be... Uh... Uh... Monoculars. Yeah. Cave, a boarded up cave. Which I could get into. Danger spider. Okay. Fuck, I screwed this one up last time. I A telescope? Oh yeah, a telescope. Yeah, you're right. Weapons. Ooh, fancy knife. Yeah. Is this an upgrade? Dude, seven to nine? Oh! Upgrade! I'm 
I'm scared. No! Oh, I did it again! I just want to fight the spider! Oh, oh no! Fuck! That's the same thing I did last time. I was trying to sneak around it. Oh. What the? Per mostly scabs. Wait, what? been poked by so many cactuses that your body has built up an extra set of skin capillaries just to deal with it. Plus 5 HP. Fuck yeah. Wait, so I can take these down. <sighs> Ian! Wanna go back in there? You can see the gang on the other side of this junk pile. But you're not gonna be able to get to them from this end. Maybe if you had more legs, you'd be able to pick your way through. Oh, okay, so this is the hint. So you can unleash the spiders on them. See this dangerous spider. So the spiders are in here. Or you can just go right in. What do you think, chat? You want to take them head on or you want to unleash the spiders? Unleash the spiders? Tell you what, chat. I need to get some food. I'll be right back. Today's win loss. Okay, it's a generic. Be right back, screen. Potato butt, mmm. Mm. Oh, Jesus. I see a lot of spiders. All right, we're unleashing the spiders. The door has like 15 deadbolts in it. The note tacked to it says, please don't open this door unless you want to get eaten by a giant spider. Even then, don't open it because the rest of us don't want to get eaten by a giant spider. Is it even signed so you can hardly expect to take it seriously? Open the door! It has... It has 15 deadbolts. How did I... Whatever. You hear the <laughs> you hear a horrible skittering noise, followed by a scream, followed by more horrible skittering noises, followed by more screams, followed by some rapping noises, followed by muffled screams. Then there's more skittering, then silence. <laughs> Don't go inside. We're going in. Ha ha! Ha ha! The gang has been prepped for spider consumption. Hold on, not yet. Oh, hey. The poor chef is chained to the wall. His eyes widen as you approach. Hey, you're not one of them. Are you here to rescue me? Sure. Oh, thank goodness. He thrusts his hand into yours and shakes vigorously. I'm Doug. Woody. How do you do, Doug? Well, I've been chained up in this dank cave for weeks. Cooking for these stripey-hatted idiots. Yeah, that sounds awful. You know the worst part? There's a perfectly good oven eight feet to my right and a shelf of perfectly good ingredients eight feet to my left. This chain is only four feet long. Wait. How the fuck have you been cooking for them then? I know, right? There I was, fresh out of culinary school with a million meat idea in my head. And now I'm here, four feet shy of my dreams, cooking the same pot of soup over and over again. Yeah, what? What idea you got? 
Promise not to steal my idea, right? Yeah, yeah. New kind of sandwich, or maybe a taco. It's so revolutionary that I'm honestly not sure where it fits in the whole hand food taxonomy, to be honest. Anyway, in the middle of it, there's a sausage. But it's a sausage made of the cheapest possible parts of a pig. Brad up so fine that you can't identify him anymore. Hot dog. And it's served on a long split roll, which soaks up the grease so you can't even tell how fatty the sausage is. Wow! And the best part, the name. You ready to hear the name? I call it the hot dog. Uh, how about the hot woody? You wanna, you wanna chomp on my hot woody? What's up, Insectopod? Get on Jinx's server and help me kill a wither. Eh. Maybe. Or you could get on my server and play on a fun server. I put too much peanut butter on chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. What do you mean you can't fly on my server? Get a damn Elytra! Or save up in our actual working economy and buy our flying mount, which we have. Crunchy or smooth, I like smooth. He beams, thanks! He sighs. Not that any of this matters. Even if I did get off this chain, there's no point in hanging around in this empty cave making hot dogs just for myself. I don't even like the taste of Taste of What the fuck? Uh, yeah, why don't you set up shop in town? Brilliant, you're a genius, Woody! Hot dogs for sale all day, every day. I'll make mint. Say, there's an idea. What if I added mint to the sausage? Yeah. You help him break his chains. He leaves the cave, hauling the oven and the shelf full of ingredients, muttering to himself about new sausage recipes. There you go. Flying Mount 4K? We looked up good add-ons. Found a good one. And then I integrated it with the economy. Looks like this place needs a new bartender. Found a jaw heart? Maybe the. Wait. Hold on. He found a jaw harp in his pocket. Where are his pockets? He has no pockets, he's a skeleton. Maybe they killed him for playing the jaw harp too much. What's a, What's a jaw harp, chat? It's a little twanger, you can plunk it if you like plunk it. Oh, it's that thing! Plunk it some more. You'll be plunking this twanger until the day you die. You plunk your twanger all the live long day. You plunk it some more. You keep on plunking your twanger. You cannot stop plunking it. this before the spiders get in here. Mm. Here's the 12 one. Yeah, look on the Discord. There's all kinds of info about it. Gang has been prepped for spider consumption. All right, time to arrest them. You stack the cocoons on your back of your, of your horse, except for one which Susie carries on her shoulder and head for the jail. Is that the stripy hat gang? What happened to them? They had a run in with a giant spider. A giant spider of justice. Fortunately, the reward is for results rather than explanations. Right? Oh, I also have the other gang for you. I got the Desert House gang. This certainly is a bag of severed ears and teeth and such. Which house is, which gang is this? <laughs> All right, so there they are. Please tell me there's a bag. Is there just, just a, what the fuck? Where's the bag? Damn it. Okay, now we have a lot of XP to deal with.
think we'll do a little more damage. And we'll get some more grit. Five left, we'll get beef up, so we do more. So more damage and a little more grit, which is a little more... Ah. We're on Discord, is the mount stuff? Oh, it's... it's when you... When you first get into the server, there's a marketplace. Go inside the marketplace. It's on the second floor. Follow the signs to the market. It's expensive. So I'll give you something to work towards. Hot dog! Why is it not hot dog? I had to change the name. I tried to file a trademark and it turns out there's already something called a hot dog. What is it? Trust me, you don't know. You don't want to know. I wish I didn't know. Anyway, a single letter removed and I'm in business. He gestures at the menu. Buy something. Fucking Christ, dude. These are expensive as hell. But... Six muscle. Uh, yes, please. I'm gonna buy, like, five of these. Holy shit, dude. This is awesome! You can stack these. Level, what the fuck? Level up, oh, you're already too full. Level up your grit to increase your appetite. Oh! Stomach capacity, shit! Can I like barf this up? 